Aloha champions! Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Today we are doing math lesson 5.4, length in metric units. Last Tuesday we did 5.1, which was length in customary units, that's our inches, feet, yards, and miles. Today is metric units, which is centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Our learning objectives for today. Scholars will measure and estimate lengths in metric units. Objective two, scholars will convert between different units of measurement of a length, okay? For today's lesson, we have some vocabulary for you to know. We have centimeters, which will be represented as CM. That's our smallest unit of measure for length. We have meters, which is represented by an M. That's our medium. And meters are about the length of a yard. Not 100%, but a meter is 100 centimeters. So if you add up 100 centimeters, that's just over three feet. A kilometer is our largest unit of measure. It's represented by a km, and that's a thousand meters, or a hundred thousand centimeters. Kilometers are about roughly half a mile. It's not an exact, but that's about as close as we can get for this video, okay? So, into the lesson, 5.4. Part one, we are going to be measuring length in centimeters and meters. So the length of a centimeter. This is a centimeter. It is about the length of one finger across compared to an inch, which as I said, was about two fingers across. So it's not 100% exact, but a centimeter is about half the length of an inch, sometimes a third, but for this time, we're just saying that it's less than an inch, and we use centimeters to measure things that are smaller than our cells, okay? A meter is a hundred centimeters, or just about one yard, about three feet. We use meters to measure ourselves and things that are bigger than ourselves. So if this piece of paper is 30 centimeters long, it would take three and a third pieces of paper to equal a full meter. This page is 12 inches long. We'd add them all up till we get to 100 centimeters to equal one meter, okay? So these are not to scale drawings for these practice examples, but the first one we have is this broom is measured at one meter and 57 centimeters long. Find the length in centimeters. So this broom, as I've drawn here, is one meter and 57 centimeters. Well, one meter is a hundred centimeters. So if I convert one to 100, just multiply it by a hundred, 100 plus 57 would give me the total length of this broom as 157 centimeters. Okay. Second example is Kylie, drawn here in perfect stick figure form, jumped 125 centimeters from the starting line. How far did she jump in meters and centimeters? Okay. Well, if I break up my 125 into 1, 100, and 125, that 100 converts to 1 meter, so she jumped 1 meter and 25 centimeters. Okay, so we're going to put this into practice now. Okay. So for this first one, you're writing each length in centimeters. So if you start off with four meters and 56 centimeters, what would that total length be in centimeters? Number two is if you had eight meters 
and 32 centimeters, what would our total length be in centimeters? So take a moment to write this down on a piece of paper. I'm going to pause. All right, so now I'm going to help us through this. First and foremost, problem number one. If I have four meters, that's 400 centimeters plus my 56 centimeters. 400 plus 56 would be 456 centimeters. If I'm converting four meters and 56 centimeters, I have 456 centimeters. Question number two, if I have eight meters and 32 centimeters, eight meters, my meters are a hundred, so I just turn this eight to a hundred, eight hundred plus 32, all together, eight hundred plus 32 is 832 centimeters. I like the metric system a lot better. It makes math a whole lot easier multiplying by tens, hundreds, or thousands, instead of eights, twelves, sixteens. But we do the best we can. So next two practice problems we have here is now we're given our answer in centimeters, and we need to convert that into meters and centimeters. So 270 centimeters would equal how many meters? and how many centimeters? 306 centimeters would equal how many meters and how many centimeters? Give me an opportunity to pause. And back. Okay, so converting centimeters to meters and centimeters. If I think of this as a decimal point, Anything in my hundreds place goes in my meters. Anything after goes in my centimeters. Centa, like a cent, or one hundredth. So two meters, 70 centimeters. For 306 centimeters, I have three meters and six centimeters. My hundreds place goes in my meters. My tens and ones place go in my centimeters. Okay. Now, if we were to compare using greater than, less than, or equal to, the first comparison you're going to be making is 25 centimeters compared to 5 meters. Second comparison, 790 centimeters compared to 7 meters. Take a moment on a piece of paper. I'm going to give you a chance to pause. And we're back. Okay, 25 centimeters to five meters. Well, I don't need to do any conversions for this because 25 centimeters, that's less than this page. Five meters would be about the length of my room or the length of my living room. Five meters, that's almost 15 feet across, if not longer. So five meters would be the one that Pac-Man gets. So I'd read this sentence as 25 centimeters is less than five meters. Okay. Number six, I'm comparing 790 centimeters with seven meters. Well, this is a little closer. They're both going to be about the same length. So if I change this into meters and centimeters. This is seven meters and 90 centimeters. This is seven meters. Well, this is almost eight meters now. So this would be greater 
and then seven meters. 790 centimeters is greater than seven meters, okay? Moving on now, we are going to be measuring length and distance in kilometers and meters. Length of a kilometer. A kilometer is 1,000 meters, or about the length of 10 football fields stretched end to end, or just about half a mile. Because if you remember, yards to miles was a conversion factor of 1,760, Kilom or meters to kilometer is a conversion factor of 1,000 meters, okay? So, a few examples here. If I'm traveling from my home to Paidea, if I'm traveling five kilometers, if I put that in as meters, I'm just multiplying five times 1,000 instead of my hundreds. Instead of my hundreds, it's now my thousands place. Kilo being a thousand. So five kilometers is equal to 5,000 meters. Okay. If I was to go from my home to the Phoenix Zoo, that's about 8,480 meters. To convert this to kilometers and meters, I take my thousands place and that goes in my kilometers. My hundreds, tens, and ones place goes in my meters. So 8,480 meters is equal to 8 kilometers and 480 meters. Lastly, if I wanted to convert my kilometers and meters to just meters, I have one kilometer and 470 meters to get to the library. I would have a distance of 1,000, that's my one kilo, 470, 1,470, okay? So a few practice problems here. I know I'm going, relatively quickly just try to take this at your own time and pause when you can if i was going to write my length in meters four kilometers and 235 meters would be how many meters number two if i want to write my length in kilometers and meters 6042 meters would be how many kilometers and how many meters. Scratch a piece of paper, write that down. Give you a chance to pause the video. All right, four kilometers, 235 meters would be 4,235 meters. My kilometers become my thousands place hundreds, tens, and ones place stay the same from my meters. If I'm converting 6,042 meters into kilometers and meters, anything that's above my thousands place goes in my kilometers, my hundreds, tens, and ones go in my meters. Okay, so six kilometers and 42 meters. Last practice page for today's lesson before I tell you what today's assignment is. Ariana and Elias cycled around a park. The distance that Ariana cycled was 2 kilometers and 350 meters. Elias cycled 2,375 meters. Who cycled a greater distance? Read that question to you one more time. Ariana and Elias cycled around a park. The distance that Ariana cycled was two kilometers and 350 meters. Elias cycled 2,375 meters. Who cycled a greater distance? Give me a few seconds on a scratch piece of paper to work through that problem.
All right. So we have Ariana with 2K 350 meters. And Elias at 2,375 meters. I'm comparing who had a greater distance. So using either greater than, less than, or equal, which one of these is the further distance? Well, they're not presented in the same way. So I think it'd be easier to convert Ariana's into meters. So we're reading the same thing. Her two kilometers is her 2,350. So now we have 2,350 to Eliza's 2,375. If I look at my tens place, seven is greater than five. So Elias cycled a greater distance. So you have a handful of problems in which you are converting centimeters to meters, meters to uh, centimeters, meters to kilometers and kilometers to meters, just like we practice through these uh, few slides here. And for your assignment, because that does bring us to the end of today's lesson, your assignment in workbook 4B will be pages 55 and 56. Workbook pages 55 and 56. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. There will be a live video sometime this week. Details will be coming out uh, to let you know. Th thank you and take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.